Hello, and welcome to the next installment of Cooking by the Book. My name is Douglas, a librarian with Baltimore County Public Library, and this is the series where I run into the collection, I grab a cookbook, we find a recipe, and we learn to make it together. This episode is all about rice, specifically The Simple Art of Rice by J.J. Johnson. Recipes from around the world for the heart of your table. We are very excited. Uh, this is a recipe called Murmura. It is a spiced Indian snack involving puffed rice, which we are going to make on our own. So stick around. Let's make this together. I prepared this rice the night before. Having prepared rice on hand is a great opportunity. I also love to make fried rice and having the cooked rice ready to go. When I come home from work the next day, I can just throw it in and 15 minutes later, I've got dinner. But we are using this one cup of rice, which does fluff up to about three cups. Uh, is We're going to use this as the base of our puffed rice. And so what could possibly go wrong? I always say that, don't I? Uh, we are gonna start by adding two cups of a neutral oil to our wok. And if you were here uh, last episode when we made the French fries, uh, we did an experiment with deep frying or, or frying in a wok. So we do know that I can do this. We've made the fries. And so we are building on this skill. What I love about cooking is once you learn something, you practice by trying something else using the same skill and seeing how we can make other things. So we are practicing building on our frying. We are going again to do the wooden touch test to make sure we've got the bubbles, to make sure that the oil is hot, but the rice is only going to fry for about one minute. It should, in theory, puff up in about a minute and we will scoop it right out and we're going to add it to a plate with paper towels so we can soak up the oil. So let's wait, we'll get this hot enough and then we'll get started. From what I can gather, the oil is hot enough. Um, I did throw one grain of rice in and it did bubble. I'm a little bit nervous, but I have this nice big wooden slotted spoon. I'm going to add some rice. I don't want to over add rice, but I'm going to add a nice amount of rice to it. And let's, uh, let's drop it in and uh, see what happens. Well, that was a bit of a disaster. I am not exactly sure whether my wok was too shallow or my oil was too hot, but when I put the rice in, it started bubbling furiously and oil started popping everywhere. Also my rice, and it may have been the type of rice I used, became crispy, but it really didn't puff up. So in my estimation, I don't think making puffed rice on our own was a great idea. Puffed rice is relatively inexpensive. You can buy it everywhere. And here at Cooking by the Book, we always come up with a contingency plan. We are going to plan B. We're using already purchased puff rice, but we tried. <laughs> That's the fun of cooking, folks. If you try, it may work, it may not, but you'll learn from the experience. Okay, I feel like I'm back on solid ground. The rest of this recipe should be relatively easy now that we're not making our own puffed rice. Uh, everything else should be okay. And it's a relatively easy recipe and it's gonna make a wonderful spiced snack mix. We are gonna start by browning some cashews. We will only wanna brown them for three to four minutes in two tablespoons of oil, not two cups. And we are gonna let them get nice and brown. We don't wanna burn them. Okay, these look nice and brown. Um, I'm just gonna scoop them right over here to the side. I am adding my yellow split lentils. Uh, like I said, quarter, a uh, cup. Gonna let these bubble for about a minute. And then I'm gonna add, this is my half teaspoon of mustard seeds. Um, and let me just kind of plop those right in there. Um, and then I should let this go for about a minute. And from here, I'm just gonna start throwing in the rest of my seasonings. This is my curry powder. I've also seen them throw curry leaves um, into this kind of recipe. These are my red chili pepper flakes. This is my, I think the chili powder. No, that's the paprika. Oh, this is the paprika. And that was the chili powder. So these are all seasonings that you know that I love working with in the kitchen. 
smelling very fragrant. I'm just going to throw my puffed rice back in here and I'm going to turn my heat down and I'm going to throw, whoops, my cashews in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stir. I'm just going to stir this around to kind of coat everything. I'm not really trying at this point to cook the puffed rice. What I'm really trying to do is I'm trying to get the puffed rice into the flavor and get the flavor kind of scooped up from the bottom and kind of, whoops, into my snack mix. While I'm throwing puffed rice, which is not as scary when the puffed rice is not bubbling in oil. Let me add a few grinds of salt, just a little bit of salt. That can be salt to taste. I'm just gonna move this right to my prepared bowl. Um, and then I'm gonna wanna co just cool this a little bit. And we are back with the murmura. Uh, I have tasted it. It is very crunchy. It's seasoned really well. Um, I feel like it's lacking something. I feel like it needs something and I'm not quite sure what it is. It was an experience to make. I'm not sure that I would make this again, uh, but it was fun to try. And I think that this would be a fun snack mix and we could really add variation to this. I think finding some variation, adding some garlic powder, maybe something different, a different seasoning that we might enjoy would work really well. Um, I do like to give uh, the Simple Art of Rice one thumb up. There's a lot of wonderful recipes in there to try. I haven't tried a lot of them yet. I do think that it follows a lot of different cultures and, and shows how rice is kind of the staple in so many places and really can make a variety of things. So I did appreciate the experience. Please stick with us. Try to make a snack mix of your own. Stay warm and we'll be back with you at the next one.